Hi, and welcome to Metal Supermarkets, the convenience stores for metal. I'm Jason Jackson, Operations and Development Manager. In our last video blog, we started to look at the ABCs of structural steel, which includes angle, beams, and channels. In part one, we looked closer at angle. So in this video, we will talk about structural beams. Structural beams are commonly referred to as I-beams or H-beams because of the shape of their cross-section. Beams consist of two phalanges, which are the flat horizontal sections of the beam, and the web, which is the vertical portion connecting the two phalanges. Like structural angle, beams also have a fillet, which is the curved angles where the web connects with the flange. Some beams with a wider flange are referred to as W-beams, universal beams, or rolled steel joists. Beams are typically used in construction for structural support. The web provides resistance to shear forces like breaking or collapsing, while the flanges resist bending movements. When using a beam for structural applications, it is important to have a trained professional determine the size of the beam required to support the load. The important measurements you will need to identify beams are beam depth, which is the distance from the top to the bottom of the beam, flange width, which is the length of the horizontal flanges, flange thickness, which is the thickness of the flange, and the web thickness, which is the thickness of the vertical web. In North America, steel beams are usually specified using the depth in inches and the weight in pounds per foot, which is typically provided. In this case, our beam is 8 inches, and by using our metal reference guide and measuring the other three dimensions, I have determined that this is an 8 at 35 beam. For our friends in the UK, beams are measured differently using metric measurements. They are identified using a code that consists of depth, the flange width, the weight in kilograms per meter, and either UB or UC, indicating if the beam is universal beam or column beam. So, in the UK, our beam here would be a 203 millimeter by 203 millimeter by 46 kilograms. Hopefully this video will help you the next time you have a project that requires structural beams. Stay tuned for the next part in this video blog series where we will take a closer look at channel. If you need beam for your next project, Metal Supermarkets is the world's largest supplier of small quantity metals carrying over 8,000 types, shapes, and grades of metal, including various types and sizes of beam. Cut to size and ready fast.